you too. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another video. So, you guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I made this crazy Ama piano guitar melody. And if I get into today's video, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to like this video and make sure to subscribe. And if you've done that, let's just get to today's video. Hey. So yeah guys, as always, this is what the melody sounds like without the drums. Alright guys, the first thing we have here is the additive keys and I use the arena ballad preset and then this is what it plays alone. So guys, as usual, the first thing I did is to go to my job down menu, went to help us, go to scale highlighting, and I use E as my root notes and I use the major scale. After I set my scale and my root notes, I'm actually going to come over here and show you guys how I came up with the whole chord progression. So I set up the root notes, which is E, came back down to C sharp, and then I went back up to G sharp, and I put B. So I just lay down some triad chords, which is this, then over here. So after I got my chords, I selected the root notes and I duplicated them by holding shift and click, left click and then hold control and down arrow key just to bring everything down to give it more depth. So after I got the bass notes, I took this up note which is B, brought it down an octave and then I took this bottom note which is C sharp and then I took it up an octave so that's how I got the first part. And then for the second part, which is this, I, the only change I did was to change up the last chord. So what I did, I just took the top notes and the middle notes down an octave. And that's basically how I came up with the second part. So yeah, I hope you guys you know really understand how I came up with the chords. So I'm just gonna delete this and then I'm gonna get to the effect. So guys, for the effect, I added a fruity parameter EQ, just did some little low chords, and then I added the Valhalla Vintage Verb. This is a reverb plugin, and I haven't used this in a while, so I decided to you know switch things up and use this. So I set the mix to 17%, and then the last thing I did is to add the fruity stereo enhancer. I think this is just widening the sound, you know, just make it sound more stereo. And then moving on, guys, I added purity and I used the bamboo two preset and then this is what we have so basically guys what's going on here is nothing too much to comprehend it's basically just root notes we have e we have c sharp we have g sharp and then we have b so what i did is just so for the first part i duplicated the root node which is e i took it up an octave and then for this part i just copied the chord from the second part which is c sharp e and then which is just your basic c sharp minor triad chord and then i deleted the top notes and then i took the middle notes which is e up an octave and then i just you know chopped it and then also for this part right here i basically did the same thing so which is this this is just your basic triad chord so i deleted the middle note and then i took the top note which is d sharp up an octave and then i just you know copied everything over and then for the last part i just did this and i deleted the middle notes and i took this one 
open octave just like i did for the rest so as you guys already can see i added some notes which is this and then these two over here and then these notes are still in the scale of e major and then moving on to the effects i added the fruity parameter eq cut out some of the lows because this preset has a lot of low ends so i decided to you know cut out some of the lows and then i added one more fruity parameter eq just boost um the mid frequencies which is this 500 and 97 hertz frequency right here so i boosted it up a little and i i added the fruity reverb 2 with the venue preset and then i brought the width to 37 percent i also added the wider this is a stereo separation plugin same as the fruity stereo enhancer but i decided to use this one for this and then i set it to 26 percent and then the last thing i did is to add a valhalla super massive and then i use the color um, the chorus slap preset sorry and if you go to the mods right here go to chorus you can see it right here the chorus slap preset also set the mix level to like 30 percent and yeah guys moving on i also added contacts and i use the evolution hollow body blues bank and then i use the deep sea preset which is this right here and then this is what it sounds like <laughs> So yeah guys to make this sound like a guitar I actually strum the chord so as you guys already can see this is the same chords we have from the piano i just you know strum them and then i took some notes up an octave over here we have the root note which is e c sharp you know g sharp and b and then i just added some notes and just like this took this took the middle notes up an octave which is the e and over here we have the chord and then here we have this so if i bring this down we have this so i just took it up an octave so yeah and that's exactly how i came up with the chords and moving on to the effect i added the fruity rep 2 with the default preset and i set the width to 39 percent i also added the fruity delay 3 with the ping pong preset as always and i also set the width to 19 percent for this i also added fruity primacy eq and i cut out some of the lows and then i boosted the highs and i also added a guitar rig and for the guitar rig i use the retro circuit preset and then the last thing i did is to add the shaper box and i use this filter preset and this is you know basically what gives it the movement and i set the mix to like 19 percent because i actually didn't want too much of it and then i also brought the mix level down for the guitar rig 6 i brought it down to 25 24 percent and i also added contact one more time and i used the molasses glasses preset which is inside of the crunchy and this is it right here and then this is what it actually sounds like And then moving on to the effect, I added the fruity parameter EQ, just cut out some of the lows and then I boosted the mid. And the last thing I did is just add pancake. This is just to pan it on both sides of headphones or your speakers. And then I set the mix to 80%. And then moving on guys, I added a log drum and then this is what we have. Yeah, guys i added a bass for my one shot kit i use the favorite bass and one thing i like to do for my one shots is i go to the envelope section i bring the attack down increase the hold bring the decay sustain and the release all down it's just going to give you more control of the sound and then this is what it plays And then for the effect, the only thing I did is just add the fruity fast this and I use the some um preset and I brought the mix level to like 9-10%. And then the last thing I did is just add this vocal loop from Arcade. And the effect I added for the arcade vocals are just the fruity parameter EQ, cut off some of the lows, and then I also added fruity reverb 2 with the venue preset, which is this right here, and then I set the width to 52%. I also added fruity delay 3 with the ping pong presets, and the width set to 26%. And then the last thing I did is just add a wider, and I set it to 31%. And then after everything, I just dragged out the stems, and then I rendered everything out. And right about now, I'm going to play everything 
uh, with drum loops just to get a general idea of what this is going to sound like if somebody uses this so this is what everything sounds like with the drums <laughs> So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I hope you guys learned a thing or two. Make sure to like this video guys if you really enjoyed watching this video and make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel because most of you guys be watching my videos and not subscribing. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any content that I'll be dropping now for you guys. See you guys in the next video. I'm out of here. Peace!